All morning, we have been on the scene of major breaking news out of Newark. Two firefighters are tragically killed while battling a fire aboard a cargo ship in Port Newark. We have team coverage beginning with CBS 2's John Diaz. And John, what have we learned? Yeah, well, Sydney and Natalie, good morning to both of you. The fire chief is telling us that once these two firefighters who did perish here in this fire, once they originally, you know, went missing, they called for backup. He said that they called uh, fire crews up and down the East Coast. He also called members of the FDNY to help out. But unfortunately, though, after all that, still, these two firefighters tragically lost their life in this fire. Fire that, as you can still see, it is still burning here as we see, speak. You can still see the smoke billowing there into this sky. Uh, this is a, you know, a different kind of fire, according to the uh, fire chief out here, because th what actually happened is these are actually cars burning on the cargo ship, right? So that caused so much of this, what's going on. So this was a different kind of fire that they are working to put out here this morning. Now, all this did start, though, last night around 930 on the 10th floor of a ship docked here in Port Newark by Corbin and Marsh Streets. Officials tell us that multiple vehicles Vehicles on the ship caught on fire, and the fire then spread to two floors above. While a public safety spokesperson tells us that the main body of the fire has been put out, crews are still working diligently to get it completely under control. And you can see in this video that some people were put on stretchers and loaded into ambulances overnight. Still not sure, though, not, not clear yet if those were people who actually worked on the ship or if those also were firefighters responding here to this fire. And as we have been mentioning throughout the morning, fire officials out here on scene, they have confirmed with us an update that no one just wanted to hear that two firefighters did die while trying to put out this fire. Take a listen. A tragedy uh, for us in the city of Newark and, and uh, tragic for all firefighters who know what it means to go into a burning structure and a danger that, that uh, you, you're going to have to experience when you do so. Although this is a difficult fire, it's a different type of fire, they're still willing to put themselves on the line for others. And this is a unique service that we're in. We love what we do. Uh, and we love each, and each other. Now, officials tell us that both these firefighters who lost their lives here, they were part of the original first responders who reported here to the fire. And because of the intense heat, they got pushed back out of the area. And the two firefighters in that process, they were lost. And again, as we mentioned, they then reached out to multiple fire crews up and down the East Coast. And hours later, these two firemen, they were found. They were pronounced dead out here on the scene. And earlier this morning, there was a procession for these two firefighters which went from the port to a nearby hospital. You can see other firefighters there saluting them. Both their identities have yet to be released, but we can confirm with you that they both were men and they both were from the Newark Fire Department. And a live look back out here at scene, at the scene, you can still see all the smoke just billowing out into the sky. This is what it's looked like really throughout the morning and will continue to look like as police, uh, as fire crews rather continue to try and extinguish this fire and still no word just yet on how exactly all this started. Keep it here with us. We'll continue to keep you updated. But for now, we are live this morning from Newark, uh, New, New Jersey. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, John, thank you.